This is us trying to make a traffic cone launch ice cream. Oh, yes! Welcome to YouTube Maker's Secret Santa 2023. Kids invent stuff. So it's time to find out who we're making for. And to do that, we've enlisted the help of Luna as our assistant. Let's open this very soggy, dog slubbered piece of paper. We're making for Brothers Make. <laughs> Thanks, Luna. This is Brothers Make. It's run by two brothers, Matt and Johnny. They take plastic and recycle it into something new and beautiful. So make sure to check out their channel and subscribe if you aren't already. So we looked through all the kids invention ideas that we've been sent to find something perfect to make for Matt and Johnny. And we came across this invention from six year old Finn, which is an ice cream blaster. And we thought that would be perfect. So we love Finn's invention idea, but the elephant in the room is that firing balls of frozen ice cream at people is likely to be painful. But there is ice cream that isn't hard. And we're doing science to find out which ice cream fires the best. And after doing science, we discovered which one is best to get hit in the face with. So now we know the best ice cream, it's time to work out a way to launch it. Okay, we've got two methods. First method runs off CO2 gas cylinders. It pressurizes the canister and then you can spray the thing. And we use this for our fridge that pranked people. It worked very impressively then and it fired cream, which is very similar to our favorite face ice cream. Aim. It's not quite a launcher, is it? If you said, ice cream blaster, I wouldn't be like, yay, next. So we've got a little prototype here, and we've got a slightly larger CO2 cylinder and a solenoid valve, which when we switch that on, it will dump all of the CO2 out of here, through there, and hopefully fire anything that we put in there. Ready, steady. <laughs> it didn't really dispense anything. Time for clean up and I'll gut roots garden. <laughs> You didn't think any of it was going to waste, did you? Okay, so neither of those worked very well. So we've been looking and we found some bits and pieces that we think might be useful. We've got some bits of pipe and some plumbing fittings and we reckon we can use these to build a compressed air cannon. So most air cannons, like the ones that people build to fire potatoes, you fire them once and then they need fully reloading. But we wondered if we could make Finn's ice cream blaster fire multiple times. So that's the question. How might we reload it? <laughs> So we put together this compressed air cannon. It's got this big valve here that will uh, allow us to open and release all of the air that we store in this little section here. And we get that air in there using this little valve here. So that's like a car tire valve. So we can pump that with like a bicycle pump. And then when we release it, anything that's in this section will fire out. But we've left this and our idea is to have some of these. So these are like silicon sealant tubes. And we thought we could maybe fill some of those with the ice cream and then kind of dispense them into here. And to do that, we thought we might use this thing, which is another air device. So that goes in there, that screws on the end, and then basically you put compressed air in there, and then when you pull the trigger, it dispenses your silicon sealant. And we thought we would plumb that in to this little fitting that we put on this end here, so that you can release some of the air to feed in the ice cream, and then you release the rest of the air to fire the ice cream. Test one of cork reloading. Ready? Yeah. Oh, oh, you can just about see some coming in. Let's see if it fires. Yeah. That did not work. It hasn't really got enough in there. Okay, so we've made the hole in the end of the tube a bit bigger. Oh, yes! Three, two, one. Oh, did hmm. it fire it? No. Oh, it just... It just sort of moved, moved out the way. Oh, no! It and it didn't even fight oh. So we had high hopes for the mastic gun, but it wasn't meant to be. So instead we're gonna replace it with a big hopper so we can fill it full of ice cream, it'll like drip through, and then we can fire it. Just a little test, just to see. Oh, <laughs> it's dribbling. So that was messy. Um, basically what happened is we got a load of blowback. The air in the pipe blew our funnel off and blew our pipe out. And that's because we hadn't secured it. And we thought there might be a little bit of blowback, but maybe not quite so much. <laughs> we have made a part that we think should stop that. But to commit to that part, we have to cut up and attach bits of that. And obviously we only have a certain amount of budget and time to do this. And this is a big commitment. So we've got this part here with two little rubber tongues. And the plan is that these will um, hold everything in place and they will 
Uh, one of them will flip up and stop the air from going up the funnel, and hopefully the next version will be slightly less kind of ice cream everywhere. This time, there is a bolt. It's attached together. <gasps> Ooh. How much was fired though? Definite improvement. Oh yeah, so you could just re-pressure it and fire it and again. And fire it again, yes. I think if we filled it to the top, it would do more Multiple shots. Shot. So Finn's invention is coming together. But we've got to remember, this is a gift for someone else. So Sean and I had to think, was there a way that we could make this even more suitable to Brothers Make? And so we thought, why don't we make it look like an ice cream cone using something recycled? What's more Brothers Make than giving some old plastic a second life? And then the other side, which we're really excited about, is we're gonna add this tire inflator because you'd usually use this to put air pressure in your tire. Now, if we attach this to Finn's blaster, just at the press of the trigger, we can pressurize it up ready to fire. So not only will it reload, but you can also pressurize on the go. You can do it, Bruce. The point of no return. Drilling a big hole. <laughs> on Scrap Hoop Challenge. Engineers, you have one hour remaining. One hour remaining. So our present is on its way to Matt and Johnny at Brothers Make, so fingers crossed it makes it. Make sure you check out their channel and see if they like it. Um, so on this channel we bring to life kids invention ideas and into next year we've got a very special project with the Eden Project in Cornwall. We're going to be having an exhibition and your invention could be in it. So we have a challenge on our website which is open to 4 to 11 year olds. You can send in your invention ideas, a picture or a video. We might bring it to life, we might make it, and it could end up in the exhibition in Cornwall. So everything that you need to know is linked in the description of this, of this video. I think that's our gift. I'll be back. I think this is our YouTube maker's secret Santa present. Let's call Sean so we can open it. Hello! I have got our YouTube maker's secret Santa present. Right, we ready? <laughs> It's got hazard tape. Here we go. It says, ooh, instructions. <laughs> Happy Secret Santa, kids in Venster. You have got a first contraption. Got a first contraption in this box. That's awesome. Happy Secret Santa, kids in Venster. So you've got a first contraption in this box. There is an evil laugh. I'm not sure I can do that. Uh, kids love farts and anything fart related or toilet humor around things coming out butts. Very true. Uh, and you guys also like fire, so with this wonderful contraption, you can breathe fire from your butts. There is some lovely flammable hay. Oh look, festive Christmas mug and some marshmallows. How would you even pick this up? It comes with its own trousers. So it looks like we've got flamethrowing trousers. I think it's time to give it a go. <laughs> Okay, so I've finally got these things on. Colin, these are not comfortable. I'm not, I'm not testing them in here. So let's go outside and see what these things do. <laughs> I think I might be on a scale of one to 10. I think about a nine on the how scared I am to test something. <laughs> Fire from my butt. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, he's so warm. Thank you, Colin. This works extremely well. I think it's time to try some marshmallows. With the marshmallows skewered and my hip set to aim, it was time for Christmas to begin. Great cleaner. But as well as drink, you must eat at Christmas. And is there anything better than pigs in blankets? Did someone ask for butt fired pigs in blankets?
actually pretty good. Thank you, Colin. Check out his video on how he made it. Make sure you check out Brothers Make's channel for the whole circle round to see the whole YouTube Maker's Secret Santa. Thanks everyone for your support this year. Happy holidays. Bye.